we bark and you just mean river, river people, and uh, we get no river. Our way of keeping it, keep talking about it is through paintings and, and you know, the beauty of the landscape. And hopefully they can feel and, and understand how important uh, the river and the, and, and the areas uh, to us uh, as Aboriginal people. So this painting I call River Spirits. This is the river here running through and these are the deep holes. If you look closely you'll see green moss colour going all along the side of it. These one are the box swamps with the trees growing, the boxwood tree growing around them. This one's is a campfire, thousands and thousands of years old. Then we've got the sand hills and these are represented by the, the red earth colour here. When the landscape was damped through the flood plains, which is this long here, all through here, uh, the kangaroos left their footprints, and the, also the emu, and a lot of the water birds left their prints. We've got the ancestor spirits looking over country. This painting is going to Sydney for exhibition in September. My brother and brothers and nephew uh, got artwork as well. There'll be wood carvings and, and more paintings to be on display. I think anyone who's associated with this exhibition is to be wildly congratulated and it's a great privilege to open it. Thank you. The, the river, Darling River, the Barker, means a lot. We grew up on the river and uh, uh, fished, fish every weekend. Families get together uh, as groups because there's different group families and they had their own area to fish. Got to get the message across to the wider communities and and understand that. We, you know, we need to keep our culture alive by, by having things around us like the, the river, water and all that, so, yeah.